I'm trying to file on Angus Mackay again. Maybe he'll show up. Well, let's hope it shows up soon. File inaccessible at this time. Damn. Again. Can you think of any other names? No. I've given you every name that I know of connected with Duke Containment. Maybe I should start feeding in some of these aliases. We might get lucky. Find out something we don't know under another name. Try Frederick Bellows. He's got about eight other names right now. All right, Bellows. Mind, huh, sweetheart? How's it going? Well, so far, haven't found out anything we didn't know about already. What's this? Tiffany's interview? Yeah, Robert had it sent over. Haven't seen it? No, not yet. Why, do you know something about it? Yeah, I saw it on TV at the pub. Angel got really excited when I told him that the guy that was being interviewed was one of Bert's bodyguards. He did? What did he do? Angel? He just ran out of the pub like the place was on fire. Maybe we should have a look at this, Sean. Yeah, I was thinking exactly the same thing. Why would Robert be so interested in this footage? I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the investigation at this time. What's the story on this guy, Ferns? Well, nothing real unusual. He's been in Fort Charles for about six months, came from NYPD, and hired by Bert Ramsey. Nothing incriminating about that. You know, I am starving. Somebody wants something to drink with that shop. Get me a soda, will you? Yeah, great. Okay. You too? Okay. Be right back. I don't believe it's about that. I just... Well, then, uh, I suggest you stand by for another one. You haven't seen the team I've been working with. Please, don't give me any surprises. Just tell me who it is. Well, he's very good at undercover work, and his wife isn't too shabby, either. His wife? Who are they? Very shy. Wait, you it from the beginning. I'm sorry about having to stage all of those those scenes, but I had to convince everybody that I was down on the police department. That's all right. I knew it. I knew it. I knew you wouldn't give away your dream about being a cop, no matter what happened. You've been on your side all along. Yeah, and uh, Frisco's public hatred of the police force has helped his undercover work enormously. Which has made me very happy. Well, it's a relief being able to level with you. And you knew about this too, Sean? That's right. Oh. And I suppose none of you could talk to me because of my involvement with Duke, right? Would you have believed us? No. No, I don't suppose I would. Do they know about that? Ramsey, what about it? Well, according to uh, Duke Lavery, Ramsey's head of the mob in Port Charles. What? That's ridiculous. Uh, maybe not. And, uh, what, what, what's going on here, Robert? We have reason to believe that Duke is telling the truth. What else did you come up with? Bird said you saw a stand right now talking with Duke Lavery on the waterfronts before the shooting. Radner. He was pulled over in Utah for speeding yesterday. We saw it on the computer. Exactly. He lied. Well, obviously, Burke didn't realize that Stan was out there up to his old tricks. Did you confront him about it? I don't want to tip my hand just yet. Besides, there's one more thing. One of Ramsey's guards, um, officer called Burns, is working for him. Oh, wait a minute. Is that what that tape is all about? <sighs> Tiffany's interview show. He was coming out of, uh... Lavery's office with Damon. What was he doing then? Well, he said he was doing some investigative work. I think he's a relay between Bert and the mob. Yeah, this is incredible. Well, there's another cop I want to check into too. Uh, a guy called Kowalski. Have the personnel file um, of um, Kowalski's board and get the clock on. Kowalski, the... why? What's he got to do with this? Well, Ramsey hired Burns from New York six months ago. And Kowalski was hired six months ago. He's probably working for Bert. I'll check him out. Robert. He's working in the same cell block as Duke. That's why I asked Lewis to stand close by. Do you think they'll try to kill him? They'll try. But the, we've got to keep him safe because he has to testify in the grand jury hearing tomorrow. I think we can count on Lewis to keep him safe for tonight at least. So next move. Well, 
I think everyone should get a good night's sleep. Uh, meet back here tomorrow. No, not here. We don't know who else is working for Bert. How about the calm room in my office? That's yes. perfect. Perfect. Uh, all right, that's it for tonight. Everyone get a good night's sleep. See you at Sean's. What time? Seven. Fine with me. I'll right. be there. Listen, you Sean, Bert are working on the same team again. So am I. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Yeah. Night. I don't understand that, Kowalski. I, I'd like um, Kowalski's personal file, please. Mr. Donnelly will pick it up on his way out. Thank you. Right. You can pick it up when you leave. All right, fine. Night, nice, Lady. Bye. Good to have you with us again. Yes. Okay? Yeah. See you in the morning. Right, Bye. Bye. Bye bye. I hope we all got a good night's sleep. Yeah. Well, it was a little tough for me to put my brain to sleep thinking about what we'd said about Bert. I just, I can't believe why Ramsey would get involved with organized crime. I mean, it goes against what he stands for, everything he believed in. Yeah, it's a shocker, right? Now, of all the people on this planet, I would have entrusted my life to Bert Ramsey. I've been racking my brains trying to think of, of something I missed, or something I should have picked up on. You know, Anna, I was doing the same thing last night, too. I did come up with one thought. I, I should have been tipped off sooner at that time. Remember when Bert had me arrested on trumped-up charges for killing Ellen Quartermain? Yeah. I mean, he really didn't have anything concrete on me, just enough circumstantial evidence to keep me in jail overnight. That's right. I was surprised at that, too. He never even consulted me. That's yet. because it was a diversion. I, mean, I was snooping around the ADZ warehouse then. I mean, Bert obviously wanted me out of the way. Well, no doubt there was a big cash shipment due to come through. Yeah. A lot of things are starting to make sense now. Do you remember Felicia and I were on the run and I called you and Bert? Yes. Bert answered, though. And as soon as I told him where we were, we were mysteriously disconnected. That's right. He said he couldn't find out where you were because the phone had gone dead. That also explains why uh, the evidence of the mob's activities in Port Charles that the Duke amassed and sent to the police was intercepted. What? I didn't know Duke gave you guys evidence. He might, he might have been trying to wash his hands of the mob this whole time. Well, it doesn't change anything, because he can't be forgiven for what he did to you and Felicia and for involving my daughter. <sighs> Let's get to work. Uh, where's your missus? She's at the hospital, keeping an eye on Ramsey and the guards. Hey, Robert, I went over uh, Kowalski's file last night. Yeah. Seems like his background is very similar to Burns. So I think it's safe to assume that Bert brought those guys in here to work for him personally. I'll check with my contacts in New York, see what else I can find out about them. I can wonder how many other people he has working for him in the force. There can't be too many others. It's too risky. I don't think so either. So, where do we go from here? Well. Our main objective is to keep Lavery alive. They're gonna try to keep him from testifying. They'll do anything they have to. Right. So we have between now and when the hearing convenes to amass as much evidence as possible against Ramsey and the mob. Right. I don't believe it. I don't believe I could have been so blind, you know. I mean, he deceived me as much as Duke did. We were all fooled. Yeah, everybody but Robert. What made you so suspicious? Oh, a lot of things. That little things. I came across him having a drink. Now, you know, for as long as I've known Bert, the guy's had an ulcer. He's never, ha he's never drunk anything else but milk. Mm. So, what's next? Right, whatever's next, we've got to do it quick. Frisco, that list of names, give it to Sean. Sean, I want you to check it off against Kowalski and Burns. Find out if there's a connection. Will do. And then put a tail on them. Got it. Over. Finally. Sean. Can I talk to Robert, please? Yeah, he's right here. Felicia, for you. I love what's happening. I came by to give your message to Bert, but he's gone. Gone? You mean checked out of the hospital? Yes. Well, when? Did anyone see where he went? Rick Weber's here. Maybe he can tell you what happened. Sure. Hi, Robert. Rick Felicia just told me that Bert's not in the hospital. No, no, that's right. He checked out uh, just before Felicia got here. Well, he can't be in any condition to be released just yet. He's not. Look, Steve and I argued till we were blue in the face. He insisted he had to be at a grand jury hearing this afternoon. Well, he told me the same thing, but I didn't think he was well enough. 
Believe me, Robert, we tried. If it hadn't been for one of the officers that was guarding him that said that he was a medic in the service, uh, he promised that he'd keep a close watch on him, so we let him go. One of his police guards. Uh, do you know which one? Uh, yeah, his name was uh, Kowalski. Right. Uh, thanks, Rick. Uh, listen, can I speak to Felicia again? Sure. Hold on. Yeah. Now, look, I know you can't talk, so I want you to get over to the police station. Keep a look out for Ramsey and his guards. I'll send uh, Frisco to join you. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Sean, uh, let me see that Kowalski file, will you? Yeah, sure. So this guy is supposed to be a medic in the army. And I'm the tooth fairy. Yeah, 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 that's right. Roy Kowalski. Yeah, uh, right, Artie. Oh. Uh -huh. All right, Frisco. Get over to police headquarters with Felicia. Keep an eye open for when Ramsey turns up and for anything else for that matter. But be careful. Hello. Yeah, right, 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 Artie, right. Okay. All right, let me know if you find out anything else, okay? Great. Thanks, buddy. Bingo. There's a connection between Kowalski and one of the aliases on Frisco's list. Which one? Ellerby. Ellerby, a.k.a. Henderson. Who's Ellerby? Well, he's a former big-time hood who uh, lives out of the country. However, he's back and he's in Port Charles. I spotted him at Duke's club. He paid straight cash for a mansion right next to the Quartermain. Straight cash? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Ramsey's operation is anything but small time. Listen, when you get to headquarters, check with Lewis. See if uh, Duke's had any visitors. We don't want him to have any visitors because he's got to be protected. Well, the only way they can stop an attempt on his life is to give them the opportunity to make one. Check to see if he's had visitors. Right. Sean, did you get anything on the WSB computer about Angus Mackay? No, well, since the last time I tried. Well, Angus Mackay, how do you know him? Do you know him? Well, no, I don't know him personally, but uh, he's a friend of Duke's. Well, he's involved in Ramsey's mob, Anna. Now, the night that Duke gave Frisco the printout in order to give to Damon, Angus showed up. And he seemed to be in charge of things. He's more or less the ringleader. Look, I got split. Keep in touch. Good. Right. Be good. Be careful, huh? Anna, what is it? Well, I was out to dinner one night with Duke, and this, this package arrived, and inside it was a ring from Angus Mackay. And Duke told me that it was supposed to signify trust and, and, and loyalty. And he said that everything was going to be all right and that Angus was going to protect him from now on. Yeah. Well, I doubt very seriously if he's going to protect him now. Hi, Artie. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that helps a lot. Thank you. All right. Got some further information from New York City. Officer Kowalski was the arresting officer in a case involving a minor mob member. Case was thrown out of court, lack of evidence, mobster disappeared. Well, there's a connection, but it's a thin one. Yeah, we can't really use that against Kowalski. Yeah, but the dates coincide, Anna. Bert Ramsey hired Kowalski right after that case. What else? Uh, now it seems that Officer Burns was under investigation for possible payoffs from a liquor distributor. There wasn't enough proof, investigation was closed. He moved to Port Charles right afterward. And again, there's nothing we can use against him just now, but in both cases, there were some rather shady people involved. Yes. It gives them the right background to be allies with a bad police chief. Did you arrange for that tale? Yeah, it's all taken care of. All right. I'll be interested to hear back from Frisco. The noose is tightening around Bert's neck. He's going to have to make a move on Lavery and soon. You're setting Duke up as a decoy, aren't you? Can you think of a better way to get at Ramsey? Well, what if we can't protect him? We need his testimony at the hearing. Look, I came here to protect you and Robin. And if it means using Lavery, then I'm going to do just that. He walked into the mob with his eyes open. And I can't protect him from his buddy as well. So be it. <laughs> <laughs> 